Okay, I'm gonna do an unboxing of the Akira 35th anniversary box set. This is something I've wanted since it came out. I'm a huge fan of Akira or Akira, both the anime film and the manga. Uh, I have the Dark Horse publication, but apparently this uh, new version is a more authentic translation of the original Japanese text. So I'm interested to see how different the, some of the story elements might be. Um, and also the art is printed in the original um, left to right reading format. And it also includes the original hand-drawn sound effects. But uh, Otomo is probably one, well, no, definitely one of my favorite artists of all time. Uh, he might be my favorite Japanese artist. It's hard to tell because there's so many talented ones out there. Hopefully, hopefully this didn't get damaged during transit. I watched some other reviews and a lot of people had uh, damaged box sets. Um, another common problem is either ugh, like missing volumes or like getting duplicates of a volume. There are six volumes in this and there's also an art book. So I'm also interested in the art book because that goes for a lot on Amazon. So it's really a good deal that it comes with that as a bonus. But uh, some other notable stuff Otomo has worked on, he did a manga Dalmu before Akira, which is about exploring themes of psychic powers and um, other types of themes and topics that he would later go on to in Akira. And then some of the other animated stuff he's worked on is uh, before he worked on Akira, he worked on Harmageddon. That was his first animated project. And he did the character designs for it. It's a really, like it's not the greatest movie in the world, um, but it's interesting to see some of his designs at that early stage. And then uh, he worked on Neo Tokyo as a director on uh, cancellation, cease order cancellation. I can't remember the name of it, but it's basically about these um, robots that are just endlessly building this metropolis in this uh, swampy wasteland and nature. It's a battle of nature versus technology, man versus machine. Um, it's, it's a good little satire and it has some incredible mechanical animation designs by, uh, I think Takashi Nakamura worked on it, who was a key animator on just all kinds of stuff. And then Otomo worked on Another worthwhile one watching is Memories, which is a three-piece anthology movie. Uh, Magnetic Rose is absolutely amazing. Stink Bomb's kind of a stinker, but it has incredible animation and designs. But uh, Cannon Fodder is my absolute favorite out of the three. It, the art style is unlike any I've seen. It's also cool because the whole film is shot to flow like one edited shot. There's no cuts. It's just one continuous shot. Camera movements transitioning between scenes. Now technically there are cuts, but they do it in clever ways. Um, like little transitions of like match cuts and other stuff. But uh, And then another project he worked on was Robot Carnival. This was before Memories. He just did the intro and ending sequences. And then oof, he worked on Short Piece, which I think was his most recent animated collaboration. It's another anthology type thing. Um, before Short Piece, he, he made Stink or uh, Steam Boy, which was like his second true feature length film after Akira. It took 10 years to make because they kept messing around with graphic packages. Oof, this looks good. But uh, Steam Boy's, it's not. I feel like the, the plot is a little bit thin, but the animation in Steam Boy is really nice, except for the digi paint. Um, it, it would have looked 
better if it was uh, not that awkward digi paint look of the early 2000s, but the actual animation quality is, is very incredible. But anyways, uh, it looks like my box set, the outside of it is in great quality. So this is a good sign. This is a lot heavier than I thought it would be. I'm not gonna lie. It feels solid. Oh. Just the, the artistry that goes into this. Just like the backgrounds of Neo Tokyo. Neo Tokyo itself feels like a main character because you see this city evolve and change and go through its own stages of birth and death and rebirth. It really is, it really is a character. Okay, I need to concentrate on what I'm doing here. Woof. And uh, something interesting is Satoshi Kon. If you've heard of him, he did Paprika, Perfect Blue, Tokyo Godfathers, Paranoia Agent, um, Millennium Actress. He actually was an assistant to Otomo on the manga. He did a lot of you, like um, to help with the deadlines Otomo had a few assistants later on especially and uh, so you can see Atoshi Kon being influenced by some Akira stuff and the designs but of course he went on to be his own great artist and director as well standing on his own Ooh, opening this oh this is so cool wow Oh yeah, I forgot it comes with this little sticker. Bad for health, good for education. Oh man. So here we go, volume one. It feels great. Nice. Paper quality is good. Mmm, it has that good smell. Oh, I'm gonna have to get used to reading this from left to right, I forgot. That's always kind of like an awkward change uh, in your brain to, it's kind of like drawing left-handed almost. A little easier than that, but. So then it has the sound effects listed in the back too. Um, but yeah, just like, he, he drew characters like more realistically as real people still stylized like he would make the eyes kind of smaller and the foreheads bigger which kind of gave everyone kind of a creepy look um but like the the actual editing style in the comic it's more like a film very very much influenced from movies and cinematography it feels whew, whoa these covers are cool on the back there's like different artwork and then the beginning parts are are painted the first few pages are painted but uh, yeah I'm very happy with this I, I have this whole collection on the dark horse except for volume 2 so I'm just gonna have to sell all those and then um, just protection then it comes with this Akira Club art book, which has all kinds of stuffs. Pretty dope. Pills. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to enjoying this and digging in. So that that's what that's what's up, man. Hope you enjoy this video. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel if you want. And I'll see you next time.